How y'all doing, Pokemon? This is Hedgehogs and Courage and Plumbers and Power Pokemon Gaming here, and uh, I just wanted to say, again, sorry for no cuts, uh, no editing, just to make my life easier, because it's hard, it it's really hard to edit on my phone, and I still do not have a laptop to edit on, so I'm sorry. However, I would like to say... Uh, you know, I'm still going strong. I still have, you know, a couple of videos. In fact, I think I'll either have posted one on Pokemon Duel before or after this video, um, like a day in, in a 24 hour span. So, uh, yeah, it's no, you know, I'm not, I'm not dead. So I, I, it's, it's fine. I'm good. I'm thanks. Thanks for asking. Anyway, let's talk about, uh, the switch. And more importantly, what games are on the Switch. And more importantly, one of those games that is on the Switch. And more importantly, a game that is also on the Wii U, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I, I, I think you guys understand by now. I'm talking about Zelda Breath of the Wild in today's video. Why? Because I have a really good theory. So, ever ever since we got, like, story things uh, concerning uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, especially around E3... People have been speculating where it falls into the Zelda timeline, and if you don't know what, like, uh, if you don't know the Zelda timeline, it starts with Skyward Sword, and then uh, there's a couple games, then branches off, and then all that, and you know, whatever. So it, it's a timeline of Zelda, and if you want to see the timeline in which games are, you know, released in what order they are in uh, on the ca in the canon, uh, canonically, what order the games come in. Um, just look up Zelda timeline on Google, uh, and you'll find uh, some images, and uh, that's the image that I used on my thumbnail for this video. So yeah, I, I mean, it's not gonna, it, it's uh, it's a weird timeline. It's m very very confusing. But ever since E3 and ever since we got story uh, related things, and even when we got gameplay of uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, people have been, you know, they've been. They've been like thinking, you know, oh, what what timeline, what part of the timeline does it fit in? Now, obviously, it's gonna come after Skyward Sword, because Skyward Sword is uh, the origin. Basically, I mean, it tells the origins of Link and Ganon. Um, so it, it's like it's a game uh, that it's an origin story. It's the origin of Link and the origin of Ganon. Ganon started, and for those of you who don't know, Ganon or Ganondorf started as demise. Um, a basically the devil in the lore in the lore and the myth the mythology of uh, high of Hyrule, um, <clears throat> and he you know he came back to power, but the hero of the sky I think his name is whatever the uh, iteration of Link is in uh, Skyward Sword defeated him. Uh, restored power to the goddesses using the Triforce and all of that. Uh, however, Demise swore that in each and every time Link is reincarnated, he will reincarnate as well uh, and become a an opposing force, basically explaining how we've had Ganondorf in all of these games. So, <clears throat> people have been just speculating you know, what part of the timeline it fits in, there's multiple parts that it could fit in. For example, on the Great Plateau, we've seen the Temple of Time. And a lot of games have the Temple of Time. The um, Twilight Princess had the Temple of Time. Uh, Skyward Sword had the Temple of Time. The, uh, what, what is it? What is it? Um, uh, Ocarina. How could I forget? Ocarina of Time had the Temple of Time. Um, in fact, Ocarina of Time created the Temple of Time, you know, in the real world. Uh, in Zelda canon, Skyward Sword obviously did. So, uh, first of all, you know, there are multiple connections to Skyward Sword uh, that this game holds. First of all, it was supposed to be released in 2016, which would be an anniversary year for uh, The Legend of Zelda. Second off, it has the same art style. And third off, the Temple of Time seems to be on a really, really high plateau. Why is that important? Well, if you've played Skyward Sword, the Temple of Time is above the Seal of the Imprisoned. So, it's uh, and it's pretty high, you know, you have to climb up multiple ridges to reach the Temple of Time, and you have to climb down multiple ridges to reach the Seal of the Imprisoned. 
So it's not a you know it's pretty high up. So it can it could possibly be um, you know using the same universe as Skyward Sword. However, I don't think it fits in right after Skyward Sword canonically. In fact, I think it fits in on the what I like to dub the downfall timeline, which is where it splits. There are there are two paths. The hero is successful and the hero is defeated. When it goes to the hero is defeated, it goes to a couple of games. I think. I, I'm trying to remember what games are in the Hero is Defeated timeline. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, for the life of me, I can't remember. I can't remember what um, uh, what games are in the Hero is Defeated timeline. But uh, yeah, the, it, I think it branches off into the Hero is Defeated timeline because in the game, like in the newest trailer that we've gotten for uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, it said the history of the royal family is linked to. Uh, the Calamity Ganon, and the deck, the Great Deku Tree also says, uh, I think you are now ready, ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. 100 years ago would, bo would basically, I'm assuming, mean the events of Skyward Sword, and after Skyward Sword, uh, Zelda, um, and Link are going back to Skyloft, and then they go back down to the land for whatever reason, and then, you know, Zelda and Link get separated and Zelda, whatever, Link gets sealed, 100 years pass, technology evolves and goes by and whatever. So, I think it takes place as the same universe as Skyward Sword, and also, I mean, the, um, I, I just think it takes place in the Downfall timeline, because it would make sense as to the events of the story. So, it, 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 my point basically being here is, it would be in the Hero is Defeated. I think that when Link is defeated in that, uh, you know, that split there, it goes into that timeline where uh, Link uh, from Skyward Sword is killed and, you know, Link dies in that and reincarnates uh, whatever as uh, Breath of the Wild Link. Uh, what, whatever it is, I think that that uh, Breath of the Wild fits into the downfall timeline. However, I don't think it just fits into the downfall timeline. I think that Breath of the Wild could be the game to add a new branch, well, sort of a new branch, to the Zelda timeline. I think it branches off of the uh, downfall or Hero is Defeated timeline and creates basically what I like to call the Rebirth timeline, where the next uh, couple of games could be put in and, you know, it's after he defeats Calamity Ganon, he defeats the uh, imprisoned power once and for all, and he finally frees Hyrule of the oppression of Calamity Ganon, and uh, the you know Hyrule thrives. And then Ganondorf returns, and then uh, you know Link has to yeah, fight him again. So it's like this re, um, just this big cycle going on over and over again. And I think that Breath of the Wild is the beginning of this new cycle, where after the downfall of Hyrule. Link reawakens a hundred years later, saves Hyrule from the Calamity Ganon, and um, uh, basically brings prosperity back to Hyrule, um, where all of the tribes of, uh, of species of uh, inhabitants live in harmony with the Gorons and Zoras and uh, uh, Garu Gerudo and the humans and everybody living in peace and harmony, and then Ganondorf comes again, wrecks it, all, messes it all up. And um, basically, I think Breath of the Wild is not only starting a new branch on the um, on the timeline. I think, well, that's one part of it. That's the main part of it. Is I think Breath of the Wild is establishing a new branch on the Zelda timeline. So where it's more of a rebirth era. How uh, the how Hyrule went into descended into um, you know darkness, and then a hundred years after the events of Skyward Sword or whatever. Uh, Breath of the Wild Link wakes up, and he wakes. He wakes up. He be defeats Calamity Ganon, and uh, he restores Hyrule to peace and prosperity. All of the tribes, all of the uh, he, you know species of um, animal, I guess, Gorons, humans, Zoras, Gerudo, all of the all of the. <coughs> Sorry, no cuts. Um, but all of the tribes of animals in the Zelda universe 
are, you know, living in peace and harmony, then Ganondorf comes and screws it all up, and, you know, everything is, everything is back in turmoil, and it kind of creates a repeating cycle of, um, hero is defeated, hero is successful, those, those, the hero successful path is cut off there, uh, where it is now, then from the hero's defeated timeline, it goes into total darkness, then it goes into rebirth, uh, the hero is reborn era, where, uh, Breath of the Wild Link is, and he, uh, you know, restores peace and prosperity to Hyrule, everybody comes back, everything is fine, and then it causes another thing, another split, where it's heroes defeated, heroes successful in those timelines, and I think it's a repeating cycle over and over with the new games that come out consequently, well, not consequently, but, like, chronologically in, uh, Zelda as it moves on through the ages. So, that is my theory that it does not only fall into the quote-unquote, what I like to call the downfall timeline or hero is defeated section of the timeline, but it opens up a new branch underneath that of the hero is reborn timeline, where, uh, Hyrule is restored to its original peace and prosperity after the events of the downfall timeline and it had and it is restored with all honors and stuff uh with all of the tribes coming back all of the tribes living in harmony and everything until ganondorf comes and screws it all up again so that's basically my timeline theory what do you guys think let me know in the comments below like this video if you like this video comment below how accurate do you think my theory is and what are your theories let me know that in the comments below as well subscribe for lots of my new videos come out including videos like this where i talk in front of a where i sit in front of a mic and talk unboxings reviews and gaming videos and share with the friends to more bad youtubers such as myself in short guys be sure to like comment share and subscribe i am the powerpunk gamer and my lights are out